did his job. He would not let this guy, he, he was a little aggravated from what I was told, and that's about it. Denied entry and packing heat. A gunman opens fire at a Southeast Portland strip club, sending four people, including the gunman, to the hospital. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. Coin 6 News is learning new details about the multiple shooting that we first told you about last night. This happened around 845 at the Mystic Gentlemen's Club on Southeast Stark near I-205. Chris Holmstrom has been following this story since it broke, and Chris, you've got a major update. That's right, Ken. We're learning how and why this all happened. I spoke to one of the DJs from the Mystic Strip Club, and he tells me he was here when the shooting happened, and he says it was a scary situation. Another shot was fired off. My bouncer's on the floor. Me and the other DJs duck, you know, duck for cover, and it's just pure quiet. Ian Boyton says it all happened so fast. He was just starting his shift as a DJ at the Mystic Strip Club when all of his sudden his friend, the bouncer of the club, was shot in the head. There was a lot, a lot of activity. It was a really chaotic scene. Detectives say a gunman entered the club and started shooting, hitting three people. And as the shooter was about to leave, Ian says one of the other bouncers shot the man. He tells me he has no idea who the gunman is, but he does remember crossing paths with him earlier in the night. Do you have any idea why this guy would do something like this? Uh, he was he was denied entry into the club. It was just simple as that. My bouncer did his job. He's he's a great bouncer. The bouncer was taken to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. The other two victims were okay. As for the suspect, he was also taken to the hospital, but in critical condition. I spoke to customers in the area. They tell me they frequent this club often, but would not expect a shooting like this to happen. Just some random person just walking in and me working across the street and I'm a host, you know, and I'm the first person you see when you walk into a building. That's scary. Ian tells me his friend was put into a medically induced coma. He says staff at this club are family and will stick together as their friend recovers. He's he's a muscle head, man. He you know works out constantly, takes care of himself and just a good dude, man. I'm I'm like I said, I'm just kind of beside myself right now. And back out here live, no arrests have been made, but police tell us they will release more information tomorrow, including the names of those involved. Reporting from Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Coin 6 News. We are digging deeper into this, and we found this is not the first act of violence linked to Mystic. Back in July of 2012, Robert Ford Jr. was shot to death outside the club in the parking lot. Two people were charged with murder in that case. One case was dismissed. The other is now awaiting trial. And last October, 35-year-old Tiffany Jenks was found shot to death in Blue Lake Park after meeting three people outside the Mystic. The suspected killers in that murder are also awaiting trial. We've also learned that the Oregon Liquor Control Commission has been talking with Portland police about the shooting. They're looking into potential licensing issues at the club. We will continue to follow this and bring you the latest as this story develops.